Hi again. Um, God, I need a haircut. Uh, about two years ago, I was down in, in, in uh, Tonakilty with Mary, and uh, we went for a drive down to uh, Skibbereen, further down the road, and uh, we went down to visit the, the Famine uh, Museum there, a uh, fabulous museum, uh, really store your heart it would, and uh, Skipperine was one of the worst areas uh, affected by the famine way back in the 1840s. Thousands of people died there and uh, the workhouse, died in the workhouse and out in the fields. And Anyway, uh, we walked around the town, had a, had a cup of coffee and we, were, we came back and we were driving back to Clon. We came upon a, a, a graveyard on the side of the road and, and a sign saying famine, the famine, famine field. So uh, we stopped and uh, we went in into the churchyard and walked around and we came upon this big square area covered in grass and it was quite big now you know and it, it was a famine grave and uh, it contained the bodies of uh, the remains of 9,000 Irish people that had died, men, women and children that had died during the famine and they were lying there for all those years nobody knew, nobody knows who they were, they, were, they died on forgotten and uh, unknown, it was very very sad and uh, there's a lot of memorials around to them, all right, you know, but it really was a shocking time. And uh, we, 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 we were going through a bad time at the moment with the COVID and that was nothing like what it was back then in the famine, you know. So many people left and went away and so many people died. Uh, it's left, a, it's left a, a mark on us, on our psyche ever since, you know. People, people are reluctant to talk about it, you know, almost ashamed of it. And uh, it wasn't... It wasn't our fault at all, it was the cause of people who were better in higher places who just ignored us and treated us like dirt, really. I wrote this song a few years ago called The Famine Song. In the year of 47, I saw an end to what had been, saw my neighbours and my loved ones fade before me like a dream On this ship I crossed the ocean Sailing on the raging foam To the land of my tomorrows Far from my native home Now the land is cold and blighted Now the crops have failed again There's no food upon the table Fear lives in the hearts of men On this ship I cross the ocean Sailing o'er the rage and foam to the land of my tomorrows, far from my native home. There's a cloud upon the mountain, and the rain is falling free. There's a shadow in the valley. Where my cabin used to be On this ship I crossed the ocean Sailing on the raging foam To the land of my tomorrows Far from my native home All my comrades, they have fallen By the roadside they have died In the fields and in the hedgerows Their hungry bones lie side by side On this ship I cross the ocean Sailing on the raging foam to the land of my 
tomorrows Far from my native home On this ship I cross the ocean Sailing on the raging foam To the land of my tomorrows Far from my native home That's the famine song. As you probably know, uh, over the Christmas there and shortly afterwards, I've, I've written um, a few ghost stories and I, I'm still doing those sort of things. So, uh, the song and the memory I had of that, of that, uh, that famine mound down in, uh, down in, in, um, in Cork, uh, put an idea in my mind of, of uh, a story. So I, I wrote a story uh, back in Clonakilty, I wrote it. Uh, it's a ghost story, but it has famine, famine uh, connotations about it. You know, actually, it's about the famine. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll put it on Facebook one of these days. So and have a look at it and tell me what you think of it. Anyway, okay, uh, that's all for this week. Um, say goodbye to you and look forward to seeing you all next week. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Slong. <laughs>